Okay, well, here we are in, in uh, beautiful Grizzly Flats at the Southern California Railway Museum. And we're here with uh, Ken Schwartz, is it? I think so, yes. Okay, okay. Yes, yes, so, yes, so Ken, yes. uh, tell us uh, what's going on here on this uh, very special event called Behind the Scenes. Well, we're actually showing people what we uh, do here at, the, at Grizzly. We show them that we're repairing uh, uh, Emma. Uh, we've got her headlights on display, a few lanterns on display, and so we're just giving a rundown of what we're doing you know, this last couple of years in here. So. Well, neat. So what's going on with Emma? Emma right now is you know, currently in its uh, uh, teardown stage. We just got back the uh, uh, wheels not too long ago. We got the uh, uh, piston chest back. We got that back from uh, being worked on. And hopefully our uh, project manager, Mike uh, Whistler, wants to try to get him back on her wheels by the end of the year. Oh, well, that's good news. Yeah. 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 Right. So. Okay. Well, thank you. Thank you for talking to us, Ken. You're quite welcome. Come back and visit us again. And here we are at the Cottonwood siding with uh, Carson King. So Carson, what are we doing on this uh, behind the scenes event thing? Uh, today we are doing mini run ones. Uh, $25 for 15 minutes, you can run our SW1 switcher 1006 back and forth on the cottonwood siding. Depending on the person's performance, you get to go back and forth three, maybe four times, but you get to experience pulling the throttle, hearing the engine rev up, and learning how a locomotive, a diesel locomotive at least, runs. Cool. And that's for $25, right? Yes. And how often do we do this? Every 15 minutes. Okay. I mean, how many do we do this? Oh, just, once, uh, a just once a year at Behind the okay. Scenes. Behind the Scenes. Behind the okay, scenes. so yes. Yeah. And how much does it cost if it's not Behind the Scenes? Are there run one available? Are yes. Run ones, are, are run ones available? Run ones are available. I believe this locomotive is $290. Uh, that's the bottom of the scale because it's $390 for our largest locomotive. So that's a whole hour on it, up and back on our main line with about a mile of track to play with. Whereas the mini run ones are 800 feet or so. All right, thanks, Carson. Welcome. So here we are inside the machine shop at the Southern California Railway Museum. Uh, we're here with Leslie. Uh, Leslie, what have you been doing? We've been uh, restoring this 1930s boring machine, and uh, it came with gauges that were either broken or missing. So we ordered gauges for it. However, these gauges were nowhere the same size, shape, and whatever. So we had to redo all of this to accommodate the new gauge shape, which is now standardized. Back in the 30s, they didn't have standardized gauges. No, so, not so much. So anyway, this part here was remade. This part here was remade. The probe ends on the gauge were, cal were uh, trimmed to calibrate to this. And if this is what the whole thing centers around, is these. These are precision block lengths. So what this does, loosen this. So what you do is you set a, a reference here. Say for that. Then you take this out put this in, move it <laughs> to the same position, Whoop. move it to the same position, now we've moved it exactly the distance between these two bars. Oh. These bars are the calibration. So Jim, uh, we keep coming back to you and uh, asking you what you're doing. <laughs> what's new? Well, we got a lot of stuff going on today. So what's going uh, on today? We, we've we been working diligently in here to... Let me back up. One of our videos that we did in the previous times, I showed you this lathe that was donated to us, sitting back there, covered in dust and cobwebs and all this kind of crap. Yeah, right? That's true, yeah. And, and now you can see it. It's making chips. It's running. It's beautiful. It's polished. It's clean. It looks It looks great. And not only does it look great, it runs great. Yeah. This Sound son like of a it. gun is just absolutely gorgeous. And um, so, what, so, what are we making right here? This is for um, a group of guys that that donate time and money to our museum here, and they do that in, in a variety of other places also. 
and this is for an 1873 merry-go-round in, oh, okay. in, uh, in, in, in Pioneer Park in Nebraska. And so they needed a machinist that can a machine shop and a machinist that can do that kind of stuff. So we're making a pulley and we have a gear reduction down here and we're getting it ready for them. It has to be on the truck going to Nebraska by the end of next weekend. So being that uh, I come here on the weekends, I'm limited on the amount of time I have, so we've got to get done. And so we, but this is beautiful. We're gonna be able to, they're gonna be able to finish that job and make, have tons of children happen by what we do here at the museum. Well, that's great that we're uh, exchanging work. Yeah, yeah. And, and for free. Yeah, and exactly. And we're, for, we're, yeah, we're, we're doing Well, that's how stuff. nonprofits flourish. Is why I'll tell you what. Cooperate. It really does. It really does. And they, they already gave me a nice stainless steel lift table for the museum machine shop. Oh, very nice. That's yeah. very nice. So. Well, anyway, we're just kind of rolling right along. Okay. And then Jeff is working over there on... Uh, yeah, we're going to go see Jeff uh, next. ...on, yeah. on uh, parts for the Emma Nevada. Okay. We're here with Jeff Burdick in the Southern California Railway Museum machine shop uh, and we caught up to Jeff he's uh, he's making some parts for the Emma Nevada so Jeff yes what are you making I'm making bolts to hold the second the uh, doubling plate for the steam chest okay and uh, how many of these bolts do you have to make here these particular ones 12 wow and how much time have you been spending on this uh, a couple of weekends so far okay well and after that I've got about two dozen large bolts to make for the steam test itself. So we're making all of our own specialty stuff here. Oh yeah, you can't buy this stuff. So you, just, you, just can't, you just can't go to Home Depot and pull this stuff off the mm -hmm. shelf. So we've got experts, we have experts out here making this stuff. And uh, that's how we keep our, our antiques alive and running. Experts, not professionals. No, experts, not professionals, yes, that's true. No, professionals mean you're getting paid. Right, no, we're just experts, yeah. <laughs> And don't forget, Keith Rucker's coming out here, and I think it's in June. Yeah, we'll, we'll be here for that. That'll be fun. Make sure the dynamic brakes work. And at this point, they were they were working for a short period of time, and everywhere between a half an hour to two hours after we're starting the car up, they quit working, which means it's an intermittent failure. And so that's usually something, usually it's a contact or something that's dirty or missing or, or some silliness. So we, uh, you know, we keep playing with it until, you know, we've already gone through all the contacts that I can find on it to make sure they're clean. They seem to be. So we're going to play with it a little bit more and see if we can't see an evidence. With the camera, we can see evidence of exactly what's happened. So here we are at the, at the museum's machine shop. Yep. And we're, gonna, we're here to talk about all the trees that we've cut down over the last couple of weeks. Oh boy, well that's not necessarily a popular subject, but uh, we are an industrial museum and we're huge and we have a lot of acreage out back. And the trees were the forest when I was a kid and so we're thinning them out so we've got room to store our precious collection or the spare parts to back it up. Trying to make room to get the forklifts in, and 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 uh, so we're thinning them out extensively. A little shade is nice, but we are trying to store the hardware, and the leaves sit in the steel and hold the moisture, and it just goes on and on. I've spent a lot of time doing that lately. I'm in the machine shop with a couple of volunteers, sorting out track bolts and running them on the pipe machine, so we'll have them in stock for the future. When you build a railroad track, the volunteers, a dozen of us, you like things to flow. Nothing worse than coming across the lack of bolts or spikes. So we're trying to get ahead of the curve. Okay. Well, thanks, Danny. Ah, my pleasure. So we are here with Chris Baldwin out in front of the uh, machine shop at the Southern California Railway Museum. Yeah, so Chris is our uh, emergency services coordinator for the museum. So Chris, what do we got to talk about today? Well, John, it's good to be back with you. We are getting into fire season out here in Southern California, though we never actually get out of it. It's no. always uh, always high risk out here, but uh, that means it's getting hot out there. So don't let that stop you from coming out to the museum, but make sure you bring, as I always say, plenty of water for yourself, maybe some electrolytes. But again, don't let it stop you from coming out. We're here to help you out if you need uh, if you need something. And uh, as always, you know, we appreciate you guys doing the news and 
letting us be a part of that. And uh, if you're interested in volunteering out here, what are you waiting for? So here we are in uh, Car House 7 with Frank and Sidus. Uh, Frank is part of the diesel service crew. And uh, Frank, can you give us an update on some of the things you've been working on? Well, as you can see, we got it back down on the ground now. Uh, had the trucks, had to put a traction motor in one of the trucks, uh, put a bunch of new brake rigging on it, got all that stuff squared away because uh, with something like this, the last thing you want to have to do is take them apart again. So uh, that being done, now we're working on the interior of the cab, going to get that squared away. We've got it pretty much stripped out and a new floor is being installed and we're uh, in the process of in, uh, choosing the particular linoleum that's going to go on the floor because that one had linoleum as opposed to a bare wood floor and the next item will be what seats to put in it so we're trying to research and get as close to uh, as we can as to what particular seat but if you want to go up and take a look at the floor just to see what we've got going or the cab you're more than welcome okay to. so we will do that so what's what's so what's next in line mechanically uh, well, if I understand correctly, it's pretty much mechanically sound and ready to go. Oh, okay. It's been run. We've had a few issues with fuel and injectors, but we've kind of got that squared away. And uh, again, the more we run it, the more stuff we'll find that we need to deal with because we really haven't put it through the paces, as it were. But once we get all this stuff squared away, we'll take it out and beat it to death and see what it's actually going to do. Okay. And Great. It may yeah. be good, it may be bad, but again, we just don't know until we get it out and run it. Okay, so I guess we can say uh, mechanically we're done. Now we're just uh, aesthetics. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Okay. And again, to start with the cab, we've measured for the glass and uh, sanded down to figure out what colors there, there were. Uh, it's basically that it is green they always use but yeah. that's just you know how it is okay uh, but again you know um, it's coming along all right well thanks Frank thanks for taking little the time to talk to us little. all right well thanks for doing this and come on out and volunteer with us <laughs> we're here with, we're, we're here with Jeff Burdick here in the, in the Southern California machine shop Southern, uh, we're here with Jeff Burdick in the Southern California Take Railway five. Machine. Yeah. We're here with Jeff Burdick in the Southern California Railway Museum Machine Shop. Uh, Chris is our safety. Safety what? Uh, stand closer together. Okay. Mm -hmm. Close enough. Exactly like that. Okay. Yes. Okay. You got You're the good. audio working? Oh yeah. Okay. Well, let's, let's just make sure. <laughs> it's counting up. So yeah. I see. I see. Movies. What's that? Uh, what's that? Uh, Tascam logo again? Tascam, is it on? Uh, fire and emergency fire, services fire coordinator. Fire emergency. I, yeah, yeah. picks up. Oh, oh, that way we can see him. You would see CNN and CNN and CUNN. Yeah.